Good morning. I've only got about 18 more minutes worth of recording today and I need to get uploaded. There's supposed to be a good video, um, or good internet at the next shelter, but we gotta climb Heller Mountains to get up to them. Um, so mostly pictures probably today. Oh, the first one up, and I'm sure I will still be the last one up that mountain. Then I'm gonna get ready as quick as I can and get on it. Get on getting on so that maybe I'll have a little more rest time today. Seven miles, but it's seven miles straight up. Oh my god. With some straight down to in the mix to stir it up, so yay. Sorry about the quiet, I'm trying to be very quiet because the people are still sleeping. I'll see you on the hike. First one out of camp this morning. And I will, like I said, probably still be the last one to get to camp tonight. This is a very, very uphill kind of day. <clears throat> There's been a lot of uphills every day, but it seems like this is a pretty good long one. And even just getting out of camp, we got two tenths of a mile pretty much straight uphill after we get past the water source. Right there. So, again, I'm almost out of video space, so I will probably uh, take mostly pictures today with little notes or something. But we'll see what I get. Looking up here, seeing two bear bags hung up presumably by scouts. Pretty sure I could reach those, let alone like a six or eight foot bear. I don't know if you can see them, but they're not very high off the ground. Looks like I'm going to get my hurdling in for the day. Damn. Almost 8.15 in the morning, and I've already got my first mountain conquered. Of course, my second mountain's an all-day gig. But whatever. What did you do today? Currently, I'm at Blue Ridge Gap, elevation 3020. But there's not much of a gap here. Sign's old, but it says Southern Nantahala Wilderness, Chattahoochee National Forest. So I was sitting on a log back there, uh, just like a couple feet back, and uh, checking out gut hooks, and it was like, you're at the border. I'm looking around, I'm like, where the heck? What do you mean I'm at the border? I don't see no border. Well, oops, sorry. There it is. There's the border. And so, this would be way more awesome if I didn't owe Georgia 35 miles. But, I'm not completely out of Georgia yet. Well, however, this has uh, this is a nice little mark, landmark. It's, it's over the halfway point for my walk for the day. So there's that. Yay! After that, you get to, I'm assuming I'm at Bly Gap now. And the sign says water that way, camping that way. Um, and nothing any other way. So you have to kind of look around. And if you look just further down there, way down there, there's a white blaze on that tree on the left. So, camping and, and uh, AT. Same direction, up there. I did this all confusing. Okay, that's where I just came from, from the border. And I come up here, and if I look at a tree up there, I see a blue blaze and a sign. I look down here, I see Appalachian Trail. I look this way, I see a trail, but the, that's the trail going back to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this little blaze and assume that since it's on this side of the tree, that up there where that blue blaze is, is the right direction. And hopefully I won't have to turn around because that will break my heart. Theoretically I was right. Um, this is Bly Gap. There's a box on the tree down there. Blue blaze. I assume there's maybe water. Who knows? Nice little campsite here, and I'm hoping 
that over there is the trail getting out of here. But I think this is a good time to put my feet up for a little while while I'm at a gap and have the room. Uh-oh, somebody lost a shoe. This tree at Black Gap is actually pretty cool. Oh, holy crap. Well, I'll be damned if this didn't just confuse me. Apparently there's something off to the right right here. Must be supposed to be a view, except there's a lot of ooh, growth. Anyway, thank goodness for this, or I might have turned around. Holy crap. There's a spot in Tennessee, a lookout mountain, you can actually see five states at the very top. And this one is three. Look at that river down there. We're looking at three states for sure. Okay, so the Priviet muskrat whatever shelter is up a hill. Down there is the shelter. There is a guy with his hammock hanging in the shelter. So I may be sleeping under some guy in a hammock today doing whatever one does in a hammock. I hope he doesn't fart too much. Um, and yeah, because the campsites are pretty uneven and I really like the being able to not pack down my tent if I can so that I can get out earlier so that I can get to camp earlier. Doesn't matter tomorrow because tomorrow I think I'm going to go off trail. But still, I like that. So with stops, it took like, God, like f almost four hours or something to get two miles at the or maybe it was three miles at the end of today on the way to Muskrat. The, the mountains, the climbs were just stupid. Took I was going about a mile an hour, which I know is slow, but it's fast for me. Yeah, it was good because, you know, you're slow when you go up or whatever. But then when when these uh, steep grades, is like, I don't know, 60% grade or something like that happened, I just did not make it a mile an hour anymore. In fact, I sat a lot. And then at the end, we all just met up together. My whole family caught up with me, of course, even though they left like an hour after I did or more. Um, but I, because I just kept sitting at the, in that last three miles. Um, and they, we all just walked together, meandered back, stopped at the creek for a while, and made a, um, had a little, had a little, like, chill time, and it was nice. Filled up water, etc. So, it's still only, like, four o'clock getting to the shelter, which is a nice time to get here. Um, but, uh, nice when you get here a little earlier too. It's chill, time to chill and stuff. All right, I'm gonna go make dinner. Some sort of trail food. I don't know.